tie a, another wet fly from Ray Bergman's book, Trout. This is the light bulka. Very, very simple little fly. White chenille body and a white hackle in the throat and some guinea for the wing on this. Straightforward, uncomplicated, nice little pattern. That is the light polka. I'll get started tying. start the light polka with my hook on the vise. This is a Mustad 3399 size 6 standard wet fly hook. I'm going to debarb that hook. I'm going to attach my thread because this is a white bodied fly. Start with a 6 aught Danville in white. I'll change over to black when I finish the fly. I've already waxed the thread. I'm going to attach my thread Got an eye length behind the eye of the hook and I'm going to run it down to the end of the shank. So there's only three different components to this fly. The body is made from a white chenille. I'm just using a rayon chenille for this. Then there's a white throat and then there's a wing made from guinea hackle. And attach this at the back. I want to make certain I've wrapped all the way down to just about the barb there. Gives me a nice long full body. I wrap forward to about an eye length behind the eye of the hook. Get my hackle pliers out. I'm going to attach my hackle pliers and I'm going to twist this chenille up a little bit. It kind of comes off the card flat, not as round and full as I would like. So I like to just take my hackle pliers, twist that up a little bit. And I'm going to use the rotary feature of my vise to put this on simply because it's a little bit quicker. I don't have to hassle with moving around that thread all the time. It will add a little bit of thread here, but it is not enough to be of consequence. Once I get that chenille up to about an eye length behind the eye of the hook, I will secure that in, trim away the excess. Get my white thread right behind the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to attach my black thread. I'm using a Danville 6 aught in black. I've already waxed the thread. I'll attach this right behind the eye of the hook, wrapping rearward over that tag end of black and the white thread. Get about halfway down, and then I can trim the two away. Now I'm going to keep wrapping backwards to about the back of the head space, and that's where I'm going to put in the throat. Throat, I said, is just a white hackle. I'm using some schloppen for this. This is just like any other wet fly. You're going to put this in. I want the, the tips of those to go back. I like them between the point of the hook and the barb. Some people like them further in the throat. And some like them a little shorter. Securing those in. Trim away the excess. Smooth the area off a little bit for our wing. The wing is made of guinea hackle. I've got my slips already cut out here. I'll match those up. 
making certain that the tips are even and they're both the same width. To tie these in, I want the ends of those to go just a little bit back past the bend. If there was a tail on this, it'd be about shank length long, and the tips should go down about halfway down that. A couple of nice wraps to secure that. Fortunately, that came down right behind the eye of the hook, which means if I clip the excess wing off, I'm going to have material sticking over into the eye. So I'm going to unwrap that, position that back here, make certain I get my pinch right, bring that down again, and now I am where it should be back at the end. Trim away the excess. It's tough on this fly to get a wing that, that lays down like this, or in, in the water it's going to swim that way, but because of that chenille body, the wing tends to cock up just a little bit. Come down to the eye of the hook and wrap rearward, covering up all those butt ends, shaping the head of the fly. Remember, if you have just a little bit like that right there, I could probably go ahead and get that with the whip finish. And if not, there we go, the uh, black lacquer that I'm going to put on this. More important that you don't make the head of that too big. Flatten out my thread. Put in a whip finish. I'm going to put some head cement on this and then I'll come back and put a couple coats of black lacquer on that to finish off. Interesting little wet fly, just very simple and basic. If you're uh, thinking of getting into doing any kind of wet flies or anything, this would be a great little one to start because the techniques of, of putting the throat in and the wing are pretty much universal with all of these wet flies, but it has a very simple body. It's not complicated. So that's the little polka. Thanks for watching today. Thank you for joining me at the Vice today. I hope you learned a new pattern, at least a tip or trick here and there. If you'd like to help dress irons, you can like, comment, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things for the video. You can also head out to dressedirons.com where you can buy flies, tools, stickers, and merch. Or you can join a growing community over on Locals at the Dressed Irons Fly Tying Guild. You can also donate to Dressed Irons if you want through the link at the bottom of the description. I thank everybody for their ongoing support as it really does help the creation of these videos. But what's important is to remember, only fly tying. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. <music>